everybody and oh, welcome back to another blu-ray hunter i'm the blu-ray hunter jonathan moody and we've got an awesome show for you this is a big collect well not a big collection video this is kind of a small collection video uh, this is going to be all of my vinegar syndrome that i have right now which isn't much and um normally i would show this last but i'm going to show this first uh because it's the only one i have and this is a um well, we're we're right gonna get right right started on this. All right, so this is the only 4K I have of this movie of uh, Vinegar Syndrome, and it is Sidekicks. Uh, I've showed this off before, I think, in my 4K collection. So, kind of see, but if you didn't see that video and you're just seeing this, there you go. So, there you go. Um, I don't know where to put this this right here i guess i'm gonna to move some stuff over and just put this right here yep all right so next uh is a newer title that i just got and uh uh i'm really excited i haven't even watched it yet because we're supposed to do it for 80s horror films sometime this year we rebecca reinhardt and i just have not gotten together to to work on that but uh it is the movie blades um this movie is looks insane. I've never seen it, but like I can't wait to watch it. Like honestly, it's gonna be kind of fun. That'll kill her lawnmower. I mean, I think that's what it's about, right? Yeah, like literally about. It was a send up to Jaws, so it was like supposed to be, um, Jaws for uh, you know that so uh for with lawnmowers, whatever. Uh, it does for the grass what Charles did for the ocean, you know, kind of thing. I don't know. So silly. Uh, speaking of silly and speaking of sort of, uh, on not ocean, but you know, water, it is blood hook. This is an alphabetical order, by the way. So just get ready for that blood hook. It says you can't worm your way out. Oh god. It's cheesy. Um, I have seen this and I absolutely love this movie, by the way. Um, it is it is pure cheese. Um I think we did it for 80s horror. Um, if not, I've done it for something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was 80s horror. Speaking of 80s horror, I think we also did this one. Um and so Blood Hook. I think that was also was that Troma who originally put it out? Yeah, Troma. And I think Blood or Blades was too. A lot of these they get from Troma, yeah. So a lot of these are actual Troma original movies, and then Vinegar Syndrome like buys and redoes them. So, by the way, you may see a dog go around here. Another dog that I that I'm kind of dog sitting. So just get ready for that. All right, another one I said is another '80s horror film that I believe I know we did for '80s horror films. It is Cutting Class uh, with Brad Pitt and um, uh, Joe Sholin and what was that guy's name? Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, Donovan Leach, who I just watched in um, Gas Food Lodging. Uh, and I forgot that he was the lead of this movie and everything. Um, <laughs> it is... Uh, Speaking of cheese, and I mean, it is so silly. This was not a trauma release. Um, I remember this being at the uh, video store that I used to work at, and I would see it all the time. And I, I don't know why, but I never, I never rented it. I should have, because I remember seeing the cover and everything. And, and plus, I kind of well nowadays, I definitely like high school slashers. You know, I think I like them more now. All right, uh, next on my collection, uh, this is going to be a small collection video, like I said, so it's probably going to be maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more. We'll see, maybe less. Um, but a movie that I have actually interviewed the director of this movie, and um, back in the day, I had to have seen it, and I interviewed him about it, but I didn't have this version on Blu-ray because when I interviewed him, it was like 2007 or 8 or something. His name's James Bryan, and the movie is Don't Go in the Woods Alone, dot, 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 alone. Um, 
This is a warning. This motion picture depicts scenes of, of graphic violence. I'd hope so. Um, there's a special feature if you guys want to see that. I mean, I I know I haven't seen this since I interviewed the guy, and I need to rewatch it. But I do remember when I interviewed him, I had a really fun time with this movie, and I enjoyed chatting with him about it. So I really want to rewatch it. I bet I'll have a better appreciation for it. Plus, it's got like commentary with the director James Bryan. It's got commentary with the director and Mary Gale. Uh, arts the lead actress and others and the commentary with hysteria continues which is a group that does a lot of uh commentary tracks for vinegar syndrome i feel like they're the group that does the commentaries mainly when like no one else does it you know so like even if uh they can't get the director for the movie or something to do the commentary they just get um the hysteria continues um, it also has a casting crew featurette, autograph signing party feature. The casting crew feature at 60 minutes long. Autograph signing party feature at is 30 minutes long. TV promo compilation is 15 minutes. And then there's uh, gil- uh, still galleries and press art gallery and script gallery. So there you go. Um, forgot to mention all these other things too. Like cutting class has uncutting class, a video interview with lead actress Jill Sholin. Donovan makes the cut, a video interview with Donovan Leach, uh, audio interview with the director, uh, Ros- Rospo Pallenberg, audio under- interview with the cinematographer, A.V. Karpik, um, commentary track with Hysteria continues, kill comparisons, unrated versus rated R versions, and original theatrical trailer. That's actually kind of cool. I like seeing what's the difference between the uncut and the and the rated R. Um. So yeah, so like I said, it's got the commentary with Hysteria continues. I think they do that just in case they can't get... I bet they do that like first. Like they get those guys to the commentary track, and then if they're lucky to get like the director they cast or whatever to talk about it, that's great. Blood Hook has a hook, line, and sinker, an interview with the director, Jim Mallon. First Blood Hook, an interview with actress Lisa Todd. What's in the tackle box? What's in the box? What's in the tackle box? An interview with uh, FX artist uh, Jim Southers. Audio interview with cinematographer and editor Marsha Calm. And still gather in original and theatrical. And a reversible art. So once again, these have like these things where this is this is the one I wanted to go with because it's like the cheesiest. This actually makes it look like a really good movie. <laughs> it's really it. I, I feel like it should not be that should not be the cover because it is not it is one of the cheesiest movies you'll ever see in your life, period. Speaking of another cheesy movie, doesn't have a reversible, uh, does have a reversible cover. So this one has that or that. Put that. I don't know how to have, I think I might not have to put it that way. I think it's more fun with the, wait. No, it should be that one because it should have the girl in the front. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did put it that way. So there you go. My only problem is it doesn't show the blades. I think that's why I had it the other way. Um, newly scanned uh, 2K um, from its uh, 35 millimeter camera negative commentary track with the director Tom, uh, Thomas R. Rondinella and writer William R. Pace. Uh, forewarning, uh, ha ha, this is a golf course, a making of documentary featuring interviews with the cast and crew. That doesn't say how long. Um, still gallery and the reversible art. And then the sidekicks has a shit ton of commentaries and stuff. Um, I really, I what I enjoy, because I, I watched this and then I listened to some of the commentary with um, Aaron Norris and... Um, um, there's also Joe Bagos and friends. Um, there's on the uh, Blu-ray. There's a lot of stuff on the, the 4K. It just has that, but like the the Blu-ray has a uh, Butch on Sun uh, on Sidekicks, the director's interview, producing Sidekicks, an interview with Don Carmody. I need to watch that at some point. 
Kyla Queen, an interview with Julia Nixon, uh, designing sidekicks, an interview with production designer uh, Ruben Freed, and uh, editing sidekicks. Wow, some of these are like 35, 40 minutes. I mean, some serious talk. Um, and then the commentary, when I was listening to it, had some really good stuff. Um, the interview with film editor at a Ber- Bernard Weiser and some original original 10 minute promo reel and yeah that's about it so for that so anywho uh let me go put these back like this um i should be yeah next is <laughs> one of my favorites we did this for indie film cafe it's jack frost all right so i'm gonna show it to you but then i'll tell you guys what it is I like doing that. Uh, commentary track with director Michael Cooney. This is Jack Frost. Like, this is a killer snowman movie. Like, killer snowman movie, like, there's no other killer snowman movie. Like, this is this is the premier one. This is the best one. Um, video introduction from director Michael Cooney. Um, video interview with lead actor Scott McDonald. That's awesome. I don't think he's with us anymore. Um... Video interview with the director of photography, Dean Lynn. I'm going to check that because I don't want to say somebody's gone and they actually not be gone. Um, But if I'm correct, that guy, yeah, that guy, did he pass away? Um, No, that's the, oh, okay, this is lead actor. But he's not the lead, lead actor. He's not the... um. He's Jack Frost himself. That guy didn't pass away. Um, sorry, not trying to. Christopher Allport did. Uh, he was the uh, detective, or not detective. He was the um. When he played that, he played Sam, but he was like the the main guy fighting him or whatever. Um, so he passed away sadly. Um, weirdly enough, in an avalanche. So snow finally did get him, which is sad to say. Like that's that's I'm not making joke of light of a like a terrible situation, but that is very ironic that that happened. Um, next is a double feature. It's called Murder Weapon and Deadly Embrace. Um, there's commentary track with director uh, David Dakota and actress Linnea Quigley on both films. Director introduction for both films. Video uh, trailer for Murder Weapon, Outtakes for Daily uh, De- Deadly Embrace, and Reversible Art on this one. So, ooh, wait, no. No, no. No, there's not. Oh, that's right. Crap. I think there was two. I think there was two of these. Like, you've got two choices. And this is the one I went with and stuck and then didn't keep the other one. Weird. Um, Yeah, this is not actual reversible art work. Um, but there was two of them. That was weird. Um, Here you go. Uh, and then here. So, you know, you could pause that on that. Um, another Linnea Quigley, David Dakota thing was Nightmare Sisters, which we did for I want to say it was Blue Cheese, and uh, I really enjoyed this movie. Now, I have not seen I have not seen Murder Weapon or Deadly Embrace. I do want to watch them. I might do them for a review for um, uh, Blu-ray Hunter reviews, but this movie was really good. This had, like, Brink Stevens, Lene Quigley, um, Michelle Bauer, like, the, the Scream Queens that, you know, everybody's sort of known for. It's got a commentary track with director David Dakota and actress Linnea Quigley. I'm guessing they did all three commentary tracks like back to back to back or something, you know, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, then uh, director introduction, alternate feature length TV version of this. That's got to be like 15 minutes long. Uh <laughs> Interview with writer, associate producer, Kenneth J. Hall, who I've interviewed back in the day. I love him. He did a movie that we're going to review for Indie Film Cafe at some point uh, called Halfway House. I've got it on Blu-ray from, I believe, Severn. 
So there you go. All right. Next is a movie that I'm 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 gonna be honest with you. I uh, absolutely adore this movie, but it's I'm gonna put the reversible artwork. It is Orgy of the Dead. It's Ed Wood's semi porn thingy. It's not porn. It's like I uh, I don't know soft core porn. Um, I don't know how you would describe it, but there's the a reversible artwork, and I I had it like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it to this one. Uh, to this one is much better. All right. Um, let's see what it has on it. Commentary track with Rudolph Gray, who um, if you don't know who Rudolph Gray is. He is the writer of Nightmare of Ecstasy, which is the uh, the book that uh, is Ed Wood's book. You know, it's all about Ed Wood. And it was sort of the book that inspired uh, the movie Ed Wood, you know. Um, uh, then and Frank Henenlotter. Nice. So they do uh, they do a commentary track together. Um, impressions of Ned Jetta, uh, interview with actress Nedjeta Debrev. Um she related to Nina Dubrev. That'd be awesome. Uh, Orgy of the Ted interview with Ted V. Michaels. I don't know why. Did Ted, Ted V. Michaels or Michaels? I don't know how you say his name exactly, but he's a uh, exploitative, you know, um, filmmaker, indie filmmaker. Is the dog behind me or not? Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's a writer, Ed Wood, and A.C. Stephen was the director of this film. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm sad that they didn't have because um, that's why you gotta you gotta keep all all the DVDs and other things because sometimes some of those bonus features don't actually get onto this disc. But there's a great bonus feature with Orgy of the Dead DVD that has like a great interview with uh, the director AC Stevens. Um, you should check that out if you haven't had a chance to. Another movie, I just... Okay, so I bought this not really knowing anything about it and didn't realize I actually interviewed the director, Adam Rifkin. Uh, he did not go by that name. I don't... Well, it says Adam Rifkin. I think he had a different name for this. Um, but uh, it's uh, Psycho Cop 2. And if you haven't seen it, it is fucking phenomenal. I do have a dog behind me. No. All right. Uh... I'm going to talk about how I've interviewed a lot of these people. I'm sorry. It's just I didn't even realize how many of the vinegar syndrome people I've actually interviewed in some way or another. So I've been doing this show like Independent Corner since like 2006. So I've I've had the opportunity to interview a lot of people that I probably wouldn't even be able to interview right now. You know, so um, been been very lucky uh, in my career, um, podcasting career. But uh, Psycho Cop 2, Adam Rifkin, uh, fantastic film. Um, it, it, it's just in Detroit Rock City, which is an Adam Rifkin film, was the first DVD that I ever played in my DVD player, by the way. True story. Um, so Psycho Cop 2 has a commentary track with director Adam Rifkin. Um, I think I listened to some of that. And it was pretty good. Um, pretty interesting. Habeas Corpses, a, a 43-minute documentary on the making of Psycho Cop Returns. Also saw that. But it has uh, brand new interviews with Adam Rifkin, the director, Robert R. Schaefer, the lead actor, Dan Pavin Mir, the screenwriter, Peter Sheik, uh, the editor, Miles Dougal, co-star, Rod Schweitzer, co-star, Nick Valingo, co-star, Barbara Niven, co-star. Barbara Niven? Really? Uh, Melanie Good co-star. Um, the uh, Victims of Vickers uh, featurette with uh, special effects artist Mike uh, Tristano and a reversible cover uh, artwork by Chris Ruffalo. Um, see the reversible cover arts. There's the Psycho Cop 2, the one I was having. and Yeah, I like, I like the guy better. I mean, yeah. I'd prefer that. So, um, I think I had it the right way. That's awesome. 
<laughs> now another guy I, I've interviewed a couple times. I even reviewed him recently. The director of There's Nothing Out There. What a whack a fucking doodle movie. Like if you have not seen this movie, it is fucking wacky as shit. I love it. It is also a lot of people say it's the basis to scream. Um, that like inspiration to scream that Kevin Williamson probably right before he made Scream, he watched this on cable, you know, and thought to himself, which I don't know. He'll you know, even if he had, he would never like admit to that. And I would never even ask him because like what is he, you know, was what what am I gonna am I gonna get some piece of nugget of information that nobody else in the world is gonna get? What are you doing? Sorry, the talk is just I don't know what she's doing. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, so there's nothing out there. Um this has a ton. Like, look at that. Look, oh all of that. See, it's really bad right here. All of that. Oh, just what? Can you take that? Like you are munching too hard on that. All right, whatever. She's happy. I shouldn't bother her. All right, you guys can't hear it anyway. I don't think. Yeah. So there's a movie out there. A uh, new interview with director Rol Rolf Konevsky, who I've interviewed, and editor Victor Konevsky. 40 years of cutting, new interview with Victor Konevsky. New interview with actor Craig uh, Craig, uh, Craig Peck. Brand new group commentary with director uh, Joel, uh, Rolf Konevsky, Joe Lynch, um, which is a filmmaker, who's a filmmaker, and Jeffrey Rennick, a filmmaker, who I've interviewed. Sorry. I don't like, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just like, kind of confused. Like, holy crap. Did not realize how many of these people I actually knew, you know, um, that have stuff to do with this. Uh, commentary with Hysteria continues, of course. Archival interview with uh, Rolf Konevsky. Copycat, a short film about the film's influence. Uh, Murder in Winter, an early feature film by um, Feature Film. Oh, shit, I need to check that out. Murder in Winter, an early feature film by Rolf Konevsky. Just Listen, an early short film by Rolf Konevsky. Mood Boobs, a short film by Rolf Konevsky. Behind the scenes of mood, mood boobs. Uh, we got to do that for a short film Sunday. Uh, Saturday? Short film Saturday? Um, yeah, short film Saturday. Behind the scenes of mood boobs. Uh, theatrical trailer, music video, production stills. Behind the scenes rehearsal footage, pre-production footage, original cast auditions, animation test footage. I mean... You know, I, I can see, like, they were like, let's make this the ultimate version of this movie and just show everybody. Now, you see that? I really like that because I like them seeing the monster and everything. But, like, that makes it look like a frog monster or something. And for the longest time, that's what I thought it was. And, no, it's more like that, you know. So, don't lie to us, you know. I mean, it was a cool poster. I remember seeing that in the video store going, what is that? What is that thing? There's nothing out there. Well, it looks like something's out there. Something's out there to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, second to last thing. God dang, these are falling out. Um. All right. Is Welcome Home, Brother Charles. You also get another movie there, too, called uh, uh, Emma May. Um, so these are they the same director or something? Um is Jama Banaka made Emma May. Who made Welcome Home Brother Charles? Um okay, so it's got a uh the history of LA Rebellion and Jama Fanaka and appreciation by Jan Christopher Hork, director of the LA uh, US UCLA Film and Television Archive. Post film Q and A with actress Jerry Hayes from a 2017 screening of MMA, um, and an original theatrical trailer and reversible cover art. Now, if I remember correctly, the, this one looked a little better. But I mean, if I didn't hear what this was about, and I am not going to spoil spoil anything, um, 
All I'm going to say is this movie is supposed to be a what the fuck. I have not seen it. Um, I Not yet. It's it's in my collection. It's something I'm going to get around to see. If you if you can see the collection and stuff I'm already supposed to watch, you would know. You would understand. But, like, this is... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so you get either MMA with Welcome Home or you get Welcome Home, Brother Charles. Welcome Home, Brother Charles is the movie that, like... I think toward the end of the movie, it gets like, what the hell is going on? And I think we're supposed to do it for um, What the Fuck Friday at some point. We just haven't gotten around to it. Um, So there you go. That's Welcome Home, Brother Charles. And uh, let's see. The last, but certainly not least. Okay, so I know the director. I've not interviewed him yet. Um don't know why of this next movie um i don't know why it just hasn't happened um i don't know if he doesn't do interviews much or if just it hasn't happened i don't know but it is witch trap which i do believe has a reversible cover art as well yes it does that looks kind of cool i might keep that one let's do that one that one that one looks a little eh okay but that was like there's a lot going on for it so awesome all right so we'll do this one it's like it it knew what i did for so long it's like what are you doing to me man i mean the wrong side oh that does look pretty cool this time it's not a game and it's talking about um i guess uh uh, now, don't get this confused with the other movie directed also, I believe, by Kevin Tenney, uh, Witchboard. Um, completely different movie, but uh, Witch Trap, which I've been wanting to, to check out. I, I haven't. Once again, if you look at my, like, that's just some of my movies that I have. I get, like, I don't know, like, lately I've been getting, like, 25 a month, you know? So, it... Eh. You know, you get like that many movies, you you start people are like, why don't you stop collecting and instead uh watch your movies? I'm like, why would I do that? Like, if I watch the movies by the time I'm old and gray, maybe I'll watch all of them. But right now, I mean, you know, I have a bunch I haven't watched yet. So that's it. Uh oh, the Witch Trap has group commentary track with Kevin Tenney. Uh, the director, Bru- uh, producer Dan Duncan, cinematographer Tom Jewett, uh, actor Hal Havens, uh, then video, inter- video interviews with director Kevin Tenney, actress Linnea Quigley. All- Linnea Quigley is in a lot of these movies I have. That was not intentional, though I do love her. I love her to death, but that was not intentional. It just happened that way. Uh, da, 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 cinematographer Tom Jewett and special effects off uh supervisor Tassilo Bauer on um, inter- uh, audio interviews with special makeup effects artist Judy Yanamato and composer Dennis Michael Tenney. Um, relation I'm sure to Kevin. Um, original video trailer Book of Joe, a short film directed by Kevin Tenney. Alternate ending for Book of Joe and the production stills. And that is it. I'm going to show you guys all of them again. Look at that. That's uh, not huge. No, I, I think by next year, I'm going to plan to do another uh, collection video of these and show you next, I guess, June. I'll do another one. And uh, hopefully I'll have, uh, maybe I'll have up to 20. I don't know. Um, Vinegar Syndrome, I like, but I feel like for the kind of movies that they are, a lot of them are cheesy and stuff. Uh, some of them are a little overpriced for that. Like, I really like going to uh, horror conventions like Texas Frightmare and picking these up because they have really good deals on them. They're like way cheaper than they normally would be at the at you know even on eBay. So I buy these there, and I mean, then I just end up going broke because I do that in the arrow, and I'm done. You know, um, 
but yeah, these are these are some awesome ta- you know movies. If you haven't if you haven't had the chance to check them out, um, I would definitely recommend uh, going you know going on uh, going to the stores or checking out vinegarsyndrome.com. They even have, I believe, they even have a um, uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> shit, uh, like a a fan like fan page or something not fan page like facebook but like fan group thing on their website where you can you can get a your membership you know and you can get like discounts on a bunch of these things so i would highly recommend checking out their website and uh doing all that so uh but with that i'm gonna let you guys go uh we've got more stuff coming uh this month this month is going to be packed with uh videos and and whatnot and then uh, hopefully this whole summer will be packed with videos, um, uh, a whole lot of stuff going on. So thank you guys for checking this out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.